Friday. Yay. Yay, it's Friday. Hooray. So that means Friday fun, uh, which means uh, mailbag um, and uh, I don't know, stuff like that. So off we go. How, do you, how are you? Very busy morning. She had a busy morning. I was. I didn't remember that my hair appointment was today. I thought it was tomorrow because it's usually on Saturday. And I was still in my, my pajamas, my kitty cat pajama pants and my giant Broncos shirt. And I get a call from the hair salon and the woman's like, are you still coming to your appointment? And I was like, well, yeah, it's tomorrow. She's like, no, you were supposed to be here 15 minutes ago. So I had to throw on clothes very quickly, um, including pants that didn't fit. And I literally, I ran through the nail salon to get to the hair salon and I looked like a lunatic. So that was my morning, but now I am here. I just went to the gym. He's very lucky. That's what I was going to do. <laughs> Me and Mr. Man went to the gym. It was hilarious fun. Anyway, let's, let's kick off. As you can tell, it's football season. Is it? You just said, let's kick off. Let, let's kick off. Let's <laughs> kick off the Broncos aren't <laughs> no anyway go on okay so this one's for me from camaro carl are you wearing the dude sweater today i am not last week i was he bought it for me a while ago because the big lebowski is my favorite movie and mm -hmm. yes i, I bought i bought it uh as soon as for a long time after that movie was made people talked about that sweater and nobody seemed to know who it was and she really likes things that are movie related and then i i read a post somebody was like i've id'd it it's this it's this uh what, who, pendleton. it's a pendleton blank it's something and i went holy crap and i went and i looked on ebay and i found one for what now would be considered a, a hugely bargainy price because uh, they're really expensive the originals and pendleton has come out with them again so you can buy them new but they're not cheap but anyway yes hers is an original um from bill barfett hi bill oh bill your 6306 showed up today it looks great i'll write you about that there's a sad baby upstairs here i'll do this okay he must have gotten he must have Stalin. no i bet a cat got him uh, okay. Hi guys. First off, I just want to let you know I'm really enjoying the 6309 I got. It looks amazing, running great. Now here's one for next Friday mail call. I know you're a vintage guy, but if you had to choose a modern diver from Seiko and one from any other brand, what would they be and why? Um, well, modern divers, one of my big things is all about, um, functionality. I, I'm a big, I, I'm a big believer in basic functionality. So a modern diver, I mean, this is pretty much one of my favorite Seiko modern divers, though. Gosh, it's kind of big. Is my this is my original Marine Master. This isn't the SBDX double double O. I'm sorry, O one seven. This is the XBDX double O one. So that's the original one. But it's super cool and it's nice. Uh, they they really made it into a into a into kind of a boat anchor though. A uh, modern Seiko diver. I mean. Unfortunately, nothing that's that's really sort of being made anymore. That's kind of my problems. I mean, though, of course, you can still get an SKX, and because they're just they're great watches. They're great watches, very 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 functional. Uh, my Stargate, that's a great great watch. And you said one from hi. Oh, what are you so sad for? Somebody left their Klondike bar wrapper where the dog could get it. Oh. The dog was chewing on it and Sebastian tried to. Oh, you tried to save the dog. Good for you. <laughs> um, and the uh, modern diver, well, that isn't Seiko. You know, it's, it, I'm going to elicit some groans. Uh, I considered one of the new Omega reissues, but really, honestly, this, this sub is damn near perfect. Uh, it's got everything I want. It's reliable. It's accurate. It's a high beat. It's hand winder. It's, it's you know, it's it's serious. It's got serious water resistance. I mean, it's just, it's a, it's a, for just pure functionality. It's a great, great watch. And honestly, it's a little, it's a little more conservative than this Marine Master. The Marine Master is definitely its own beast. But in terms of wearability, I don't even feel like I'm wearing anything with this. I often forget I have it on. So, I don't know. There you are. There's your there's your answer. Uh, time for the next question. Oops. Oops. I got it. I can read it. Uh, from Screen Name Degs. 
Hey Spencer, great video. I had a question about my 6139-6000 and the reset function. Hmm. It's been running well since I got it a couple of weeks ago, but what I noticed was that the seconds hand doesn't reset exactly to zero. It resets at about the one second mark as opposed to dead center. Is that something I should be worried about? To my knowledge, the watch has never been serviced. Is this an indication that there may be problems with the center chrono wheel? No. Uh, the, the way that those work is the, the center chrono wheel, the pinion on the center chrono wheel is keyed. It has a flat side to it, so it's round on one side and it's flat on the other. The hands are one-time use. They, have, they just have a little aluminum tube on them. And when you press, <laughs> hey now, when you press them into space, when you press them into place with the correct, ori <laughs> with the correct orientation, sorry folks, yep. Um, when you press them in the place with the correct orientation, they deform to hold to that keyed pinion. So the problem that can happen is one, if it's set incorrectly, that's pretty much it. But also what can happen is over time with hard resets, is that aluminum tube can loosen up a little bit and the hand itself can, and it can twist and deform. There's really, there's nothing to do about it. There's no way to adjust it. There's no way to make it better. But as long as that hand is going all the way around and kicking over the minute counter hand, you're fine. Uh, from a very sad screen name, Bambi Killer 3381. That was, that was sad. <laughs> Hello, Spencer. My question, when you know your family is going to a memorable event like kids first trip to Disney or whatnot, is there a watch you wear so that, for that, so you can tie the good memories to the watch? Uh, yes, actually. Um, I try to do that. Whenever we leave, I, I really limit myself to a couple of watches. And when we went to Disney, when we went to Florida, um, I took my SUN 019. There it is, SUN 019. I wanted a worry-free watch that I didn't have to be concerned about running down or anything else like that. And so I, 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 this is the one I, so I pictures of myself with this in the ocean and it went to Disney with us. So yeah, sure, absolutely. I made a point of wearing um, a new SKX 007 for when our middle daughter was born and that someday will be hers. Um, I don't know. That's, so yeah, there's, I have watches that have significant things connected to them. You bet. from John the Computer Doctor. Hi from the UK. Do you have any plans to upgrade your time grapher in the future or does your current one do everything you want? Regards from John. It does the basics that I need. It gives me uh, amplitude. It gives me, uh, I can see the noise on it. I can see the accuracy loss gain. It does basic stuff. Um, it's, it's not, it's a minimum, it meets minimum expectations. If I had I really need to invest in one of the bigger ones, though, like the real pro ones. They'll tell you all kinds of stuff about like the pallet fork and all kinds of, because it can listen and it can hear all kinds of different things. I should get one of those other ones, probably because it would save me some time, because it would pinpoint things. Just like I would, I really would love to get one of the new uh, dry uh, water resistance testers, because they are computerized and they'll tell you where the leak is if there is one. Um, but so far, this one, I mean, this one has stood me in good stead for quite some time. It's the same one Seiya in Japan uses this exact same one. So I think so far for my purposes, it works. But someday, yes, I'd like to upgrade, but oh, that's money. Yes. Now, this is on the Omega video, and I'm very happy you made it. Hmm. Told you I would. I know. From Todd S. Hi, Todd. This is a great comparison and very helpful to see together. How does the Flight Master compare in terms of movement design? Uh, I th the Flight Master is a Lamania 5100, I think. Um, they are. It's it's very very similar to the to the the to the 1340. Uh, it's that same era, but the Flight Masters are so cool. I like uh, the Real Master. The Real Master. Well, the, the Omega Real Master. They're they're really those those are ooh, those are spendy. They're very cool, but the flight masters are so wacky, and I just love the colors. I don't know that I'd really ever get around to wearing them again because the case is so tall. But I think they're really cool. I'm not a hundred percent sure on those, and I probably should have done some research before answering this question. Considering I'm, I'm not really giving you much information. <laughs> um, from Jimmy Split Seven Seven. 
Nice trio. What do you think of the Speedy 125 chronometer? I love them quintessentially 70s. Uh, they are super cool, and I should have included those, and I didn't. Um, yeah, they're, they're super neat. I mean, if I had, if money was no object and I had the ability to do it, I'd have the entire range of the Marks. I'd have the entire Marks series. <laughs> hey, now. But I, I don't. Someday, though, I really want a TV dial one, though. I think that's one of my top, top goals. Are you tired? Are you sleepy? You, no. You look sleepy. <laughs> what? You look sleepy. Oh, hey, can, oh gosh, you're heavy. Heavy. From Mr. Shore, you can one. Great video, Spencer. I think you may be referring to Delroy. Can you give him my bus? Uh-oh. Don't break it again. There, bus. Bus. Okay, anyway, great video, Spencer. I think you may be referring to Delrin, which is DuPont's trademarked plastic used for the cam in the 1861. I believe Omega used it for various parts on non-display case models these days. A bit odd to think that plastic is in a high-end movement, even if it's technically more efficient. Doesn't bother me too much. I still love my 1861 Speedy. Okay, it wasn't a question, it was just... So yeah, I, I mean, I'm a functionality person, and yeah, it's nice to have everything be nice and beautiful and everything else like that, but if it does the job, then it's fine. I mean, there were a lot of people back in the day that complained about uh, the, the, my brain just froze up. I don't know. The, the friction system, putting in jewels via the friction, fr being held in place by friction instead of having jewels be in, in brass cages that were then held in place with tiny screws. That that kind of technology, that old pocket watch technology, I mean, that's really beautiful. It's beautifully done, uh, but it's a lot more work and it's a lot more parts. And people thought it was sort of cheap and weird when they went to the to the later system. Uh, I've got to find the name of it. Driving me crazy. I had it right here. God, what is wrong with me? Uh, Zeitz. Jesus. Brain doesn't work anymore. The Zeitz friction system. It's a standardized system for making jewel holes and pressing in jewels and jewels that were provided. And instead of having all this extra stuff where you have brass and screws and all this other kind of thing is that the hole is ever so slightly smaller than the jewel and all the tools are the same and you can just press a jewel in and it works. Hey, come on now. Um, so anyway. Oh, oh dear. Uh-oh. He rolled away. He rolled away. Anyway, so I, I think it's if it's functional and does this job, then I'm for it. Well, it's pronounced. Lorenz Mueller. Okay. Um, do you think that the current XKX models will as well have this legendary character for Seiko fans and watch collectors? People have talked about this for years. I believe so. I, I, I can't imagine why it wouldn't. Um, I mean, uh, here's, uh, I mean, here's, here's Bill Barfett. Here's, here's Bill's 6306. He's talking to himself. Here's Bill's 6306. This is a classic, classic 70s diver. Not even just for Seiko, but just everywhere. This is a classic, classic watch. Um, and they were, you know, and they're, 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 they're instantly recognizable. The same thing can be said for the SKXs. And this has so many pieces of Seiko history in it, all built in. The dial design is from the 7548 Quartzes. The case is the, the slim case that came out with the 6309s. It was also used for the 7548s. And they, they pushed it along into the 7002s and then the SKXs. It's a, I mean, Seiko's used this design for decades now. This is an absolutely great tool watch. One of the things I like about this, again, extremely functional, and it, there's nothing extra or frilly about it. Everything that is on this watch is there for a reason. There's no weird funkiness or strange things or odd shrouds or weird screws in strange places or any of that kind of stuff. It's a very, very, very basic, pure dive watch. Yes, as time goes on, I absolutely do believe it, that, that these will become, you know, valuable and prized. I mean, this is, this is an, an early one, too. This is, this is Sadie's. I was wearing this when she was extremely small. So, I mean, you get these early ones, especially with the A movements. Yeah, they're great, but 
Yeah, I don't see any reason why they wouldn't be. The only thing that would make this better is if it was a hand winder. And that can be done. Once, uh, you know, there's ways that that can be made to happen. But it's even stock, they're great. Yes. What? Are we out of questions? Yeah. Wow, it's a short day. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, mail's here again. He didn't deliver a package for me earlier. Maybe he's got it now. Or maybe it's my package. Maybe it is your package. That's really about it. So sorry for all the squeaking. We'll do what we can. But thank you so much for watching. And I have a, an interesting video I'm going to hopefully pull off today. Okay, we'll see you later. Thank you.